First, I'm getting the tray out. You should be able to lift it out straight up. I found is that it released, at least in my case, in the rear first, and then you have to work your way to the front to lift the entire tray up. The next step is to remove two 20 torque screws that's securing the factory radio trip panel. That's those two. Next step is to take off the two vents. They can each connect it with one real torque screw. This is a torque screw, so we'll take the second. second. Now is to take off the hazard switch assembly and that's Basically, the bottom one, the top one is for the airbag. You have to remove it from behind in the two clips, one clip on each side. And then you can press it out. It took me some time, but I got the uh, antenna off. And you really have to put a screwdriver underneath just to push it out because it uh, was really stuck. And I put in the replacement antenna connector, so that's done. And I have the new front panel, it's a little bit different than the old one. And I'm going to install the vents now first. And those six clips are in, and then it still needs a screw. And they have a, a new screw, so a Phillips screw. This is the airbag. The airbag. Put it into We also have the dash panel, a new dash panel, and we have to attach a few of the clips on here as well. That's about 12 clips. And those are metal clips. and ready to be installed later on. An extra problem that uh, appeared is that since I ordered all these articles separately, the GPS radio doesn't fit correctly, at least not lengthwise. Top and bottom, that works fine. You can see that top and bottom, but if if it fits on the left hand side it doesn't go all the way in on the right hand side so I have to take off probably an eighth of an inch on both sides of the uh, frame and see whether 
I can make that visibly uh, appealing. quite nice I think if I look at what this looks like and let's see how far we can go I did the work on the scroll saw and that looks fairly nice at least as a rough cut you can see if I pull them in I'm able to pull this one in as well lengthwise still have to do the corners and so on so what I'll do now is I'll start working by hand on sanding these edges uh, and hopefully get a uh, satisfactory result looks acceptable. Uh, I did with uh, an 80 grit, a 220, and then finally with a um, 500 grit sanding paper, and still have to clean it up, up and so on, but it, uh, it looks quite nice, I think. now it really fits in here correctly and it looks uh, I don't think you can even see that I changed it it looks good I cleaned it up and you see it fits correctly now on both sides yeah I have to install the car radio uh, including this uh, double dim kit on top of it uh, but the car radio includes a GPS I'll put it on top of the dashboard in front of that top deck of the double ding kit. For that, however, uh, I need to make a small notch to accommodate the wire. I have to make that approximately at this location. And I'm using a file because it's only a very, very small notch. That should do it. I also had an adapter for the radio itself. It came with two parts, but I have no room for the second one, so I hope this is the main one, and if I look at it this way, it fits quite nicely. Got the, the main harness that's going to be connected to the uh, existing cable, and those two are the ones that are connecting to the new radio. The only thing that uh, needs to happen is just connect uh, the collar by collar. I got a green black one here and I got a green and a green black one over there. And that's a green and black. So now I take the other green and black. It's out here. I've got uh, four wires left that are not necessary uh, 
for instance, these uh, orange ones, I think they go to the dimmer, if that's available, but not in this case. So, uh, so these four walls, I'll just cap them off. Okay. So what's left, more or less, is to just tie it together. So, I'll just use a cable tie. Okay, so that's the connection. Yeah, I'm uh, continuing uh, with the uh, installation of my new car radio. It's a very simple, cheap one. I don't use an, uh, a radio on a regular basis, but I needed a, a touch screen and some way to get a, a GPS in there as well as uh, a place where I can view my cameras uh, that I'm planning to install. The cameras for the DVR. So, first I'll take the cable and let's see what I can... Okay, that works. The antenna cable that's here and that has to be installed over there that works but I'll connect a video cable which has to go to my DVR and I'll put the GPS all the way down on the dashboard for the time being that should be okay now that we have everything connected so seemingly it works at least the radio works there's enough sound coming uh, out of it. It's uh, just uh, FM, no uh, AM. But as I said, I'm, I'm just not using a radio at all. Now I can go to the main screen. I still have to put in the date. So now we're at the navigation menu. It automatically uh, zooms in on my home location. That just works great, even the direction of the van. What I'll do now is temporarily put, uh, connect my DVR and then hopefully be able to connect the, the video signal of the DVR to this radio and see whether the DVR is working. This here in front is almost an ideal place. I'll take a little bit of alcohol, clean a few surfaces, and then use these stick-on tie mounts. And then I can use a small tie. And then we cut these ties back. Now to guide the um, video wire that goes to the DVR, I'll have to remove some panels here at the bottom of the van, or below the dashboard. Okay. I'll have to do it this way, the guide, see whether I can reach the bottom. Why is it so difficult? Having difficulties getting the wire down. So what I'll try is now to remove this tray, yeah, at least I got them here, okay, now we're one step closer, let's see, okay, there we go. Now we're one step further, and now we have a chance to clean things up, since we have this thing open, we'll close this first.
the wire secures from this point down and in between to the radio so I can finish the radio and then take care of the wire at the later stage. So let me do this. I'll do that temporarily this way. Now I started to put these side panels on. And this is the second one. That fits. Finally got it. Hi guys, this is Joey we're building a one-of-a-kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. You've done a good job.